what can we really say? Like we opened a restaurant a year before a global pandemic, right? Hey everyone, so today I have the pleasure of inter interviewing Mark and Angela. These two guys uh, have been doing a phenomenal job in Orangeville. They started uh, and they own the business, the BVR and Revival 1863. You know? And yeah. our head chef makes everything fresh. Like we really pride ourselves on nothing being frozen and everything being made to order. Yeah. Um, like home cooking but not. <laughs> well, and that's that's the thing I've always loved about your restaurant is you guys, uh, not only are you local, but you support local. We moved to Orangeville about five years ago and we had totally different careers. We were actually mental health workers, both of us. BVR came up for sale and, and it was, we loved the restaurant as, as customers ourselves. Um, and there was a basement underneath it that uh, lent itself to building our passion, which was Revival 1863. Uh, so we purchased BVR and started running that restaurant. And then we built Revival 1863 below it and started operating that in 2019. Sort of went with it. We loved, once we became part of the Orangeville community, we loved the restaurant scene here. It just happened really quick. It was, you know, late night conversations about a passion and then it turned into coming true. The other small thing, if I may, was you know, when we moved to Orangeville five, five years ago, you know, there was something missing here in Orangeville. And that was that late night scene, you know, live music was pretty scarce and um, just somewhere to go for cocktails and, and music. And, you know, how could you go wrong by doing that here in this beautiful town of ours, right? The revival is probably one of my favorite well, is one of my favorite places to go in all of town, uh, Orangeville. Um, uh, I obviously yuck yucks and uh, uh, the comedy nights, the jazz uh, festivals. I've even had uh, my yeah. uh, my wife's cousin who who's played uh, uh, a play down there, yeah. as well, um, which is really cool to see see you guys bringing in local. Yeah, many times. And revival opened up in July of 2019, so yeah. we got a short short lived there, and it was just skyrocketing you know the popularity was just getting out of control in, in a sense right we were we were, we were pretty busy <laughs> yeah and then boom this uh pandemic hit us and um you know just kind of like rocked the place but in a bad way yeah you know yeah. so um how have you managed to stay afloat during uh this past year so i'd say it's a combination of being in innovative working with our key players here uh, in terms of our staff, having great relationships with people in the community and our landlords and people that wanna support us and, and help us see this through to the other side and the government programs, right? All of that combined is, is keeping us afloat right now for sure. So how, how can the community rally to help support you? What, what are some ways that we can uh, support the BVR uh, through this process so, so we can be sure to party at the revival at the back end of this and, and bring our families to the party at revival yeah. and and have bvr open up we're we're we can't wait to see this restaurant we're sitting in bvr right now and we just love it so much and and i know we can't wait to see people gathering and eating together and breaking bread together so to speak uh, bvr was never um a takeout place and um, as we went through that whole year, uh, you know, missing the customers, you know, and just, just, um, engaging with them, you know, it really is hard to see as, as owners, um, to see, uh, your employees struggling too, with that, you know, engaging with those people that, you know, that actually built the rest because those are the people that constantly come back, not only because of the food or the restaurant to actually see, um, you know, that, that employee. These are the things that we needed to change uh, during uh, the pandemic, you know, uh, in regards to all the con new containers, uh, you know. New systems, new, system, new processes. You know, we had to put out a, a line. So when we're uh, preparing the food and bringing it out and bagging it, and those are things that even uh, us as owners, 
I don't know where, I didn't know where to source these kind of things, special uh, bags and stickers and uh, those kind of things, right? So it was very difficult to, you know, adapt and, and, you know, and put us out there that this is, we do this too. We, we actually do take out as well. So we're just thankful for the amazing customer base that we have. We have very loyal BVR followers. We have people that can't wait till Revival opens back up again. And I get messages from them all the time trying to promote that it doesn't have to cost money to support local businesses. Sharing our posts, liking our posts, commenting on our posts, following us on social media. Um, you'd be surprised. Cost zero. That's zero free. to do those things. And those are, those are very huge. You know, we have a uh, um, Orangeville Q&A, post something there. So, you know, it's just those small things. It doesn't cost anything. We sell, we sell hoodies with, <laughs> with, our with our logo on it. People can just walk around in the, uh, oh, perfect. In, well, in the town and just uh, wear that. That's great promotion. <laughs> hey, count me in. Yeah. Thank you so much uh, for all hey, this. Thank you. Brad. Thank all you. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks, Brad. You, you as, as well. well. Take care. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.